All right, so John Rahm has just clapped back hard on Twitter at these recent rumors that he is the top 10 player who's going to be going over to live. And before I tell you exactly what he said, let me tell you how we got here. So earlier in the week, golf Twitter was going crazy. We talked about it. Lots of speculation. All of this had gotten stirred up from a couple of tweets, including this one here. It said, my info has always been spot on for players going to live. Been informed a top 10 player is, gro- is going. He's aggrieved at the new PGA Tour proposal and the what he's calling the Rory Tour. I'll let you guess for a few days. And then others chimed in saying that they had similar information. Some of these are ones that have broken some rumors about live. But remember, it's all rumors. So we started speculating. We were talking about it here on the show. And one of the things we kind of narrowed it down to is thinking, could it possibly be Rom? Could it also be Victor Hovland? Uh, again, the reasons for this speculation, largely process of elimination. Top 10 guys, like you got to take Cam Smith out because he's already gone over. Rory's already on that top 10 list. So it really narrows that list down to a few. And ultimately, we're wondering whether this is even going to be anyone. But now you can officially strike John Rom's name off of that list. And where this started was with another Twitter account at Live Tracking, Live Golf Insider, Insider said, My Live Golf source just confirmed with me John Rom to Live uh, is indeed a go. He said, I've never been wrong about a Live signing. Just look at my track record. And he said, The PGA Tour is on the ropes. And then again, this is where John Rom came in with really just a, uh, a, a fantastic <laughs> clap back. Uh, he said, I must inform you that you have started a losing streak because you and your source are wrong. I want to thank you for the lift in the PIP. That's the player incentive program. Now, the player incentive program has changed a little bit where they're not factoring in social uh, or at least not factoring in as much. So it may not give him that actual lift, but it is a kind of a funny nod to how much additional social buzz that some of these guys are getting out of these rumors. But now you've got to scratch John's name off that list. And it makes me wonder, you know, is the original rumor, I mean, there's there's a lot of accounts that are saying this, uh, is the original rumor about any of the top 10 guys going true? Like, are we still looking for Hovland? I would love to see a statement out of Hovland now this week. He's He's been silent on it. So as of when we're recording this, nothing from Hovland yet. So the, it remains questionable. Was the original rumor that a top 10 guy is going true or is that bunked as well uh regardless though it just shows you no matter how accurate one of these rumor and these sources inside sources have been and whatever their track record is it doesn't mean they're right every time because uh john rom coming in (laughs) from the top deck and just saying absolutely that one's not true so john rom is not the name who's going to live Stay tuned. We're going to be uh, reporting on it if we see anything, any breaking news, any more coming from the players' mouths. But it just shows you any of these rumors that come out, you got to take them with a little bit of a grain of salt, no matter how accurate they say they've been and whatever they say their source is. Clearly, this one missed the mark hard, and it was a big opportunity for John Rom to come in with a little comedy and shut it down. <laughs>